So currently we're at a resting place uh, of a guy named Nader Khan. He was apparently a king of Afghanistan. Yeah. And this is his uh, resting place. So apparently his whole family, uh, he's saying, is buried over here as well. And if someone falls inside, I don't know how deep that is. But you're definitely going to break some legs if you fall down. <laughs> Why? So also another thing I just noticed as we came over here some Taliban members just uh, followed us and they're behind me uh, in a pickup truck about five or six of them so we don't know what's gonna happen right now but we have paperwork to show them so they're not gonna do anything but look at the view of uh, the city gorgeous beautiful view and even the even the area right here this is like very um, architectural place is like just beautiful I can't even talk right now because my mind is focused on what's gonna happen in a little bit so I'm gonna turn off the camera and I'll let you guys know behind the scene what happens so this is the king's grave Nader Khan that's his grave and this is his hall nothing too too fancy but it's something pretty cool so he died on this um date i'm not sure is that 13 48 in 1348 is when he died. The place echoes over here too. Ah! Woo! Yeah. All the echo in here. The reflections coming back. Yeah. So now we are underground. So all the big holes that we were seeing up top, these are all the graves of um of his family. This looks like a new grave. This is 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 a new grave. Oh, this is the princess. Yeah, this is the princess. It's pretty cool, if you were to ask me. Some, some prayers from, from the Quran on top of the on top of the grave for for protection from evil stuff like that let's see what else we can explore in here uh, these are the these are the little circles where we're up top It's just a ruined, like a ruined old place. No one's here. I'm like the only one walking around. But it does have, it does have natural sunlight coming from these windows and also from the, the ceiling over here. You know, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they used this area during the war um, and used this area as a, as a fighting place. 
इस जगह पे तालिबानों ने लोगों ने यहाँ पे जंग भी लड़ी है अमेरिका से या किसी दूसरे अच्छा सो दे देर इन फायर सो नो वन फायर ऑफ नो वन फायर ऑफ ये तरवीम में ही हुआ जो पहले बना है उसी जगह पे रखा ये दोबारा तरवीम में ही हुआ अच्छा 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 इस जस्ट एवरीथिंग इज फॉलोइंग अपार्ट एवरीथिंग इज फॉलोइंग अपार्ट सी दैट इट्स फॉलोइंग अपार्ट दे कैन ऑनेस्टली टर्न दिस प्लेस इनटू सच अ ब्यूटीफुल लोकेशन for people to come and enjoy tourists to come and enjoy but they don't have money to feed themselves how are they going to make this place that's the sad reality of afghanistan right now and also these vlogs that i'm making they're very raw because i don't know what to expect i can't write a script and get this thing done so um i just remembered again the taliban members that had arrived they haven't come up to us yet so i don't know if they're going to come up and say something ask something but if they do we'll see what happens i don't know if these are bullet holes they look like bullet holes yep these are bullet holes dekho na jang to ladi hai yahan pe बस यहाँ भी आके गोलियां मारे निशानबाजी देखो ना यहाँ पे भी गोली मारी है ये भी गोली का निशान दिस इज ऑल्सो बुलेट यहाँ पे भी गोलियां लगी हुई हैं आके बस चेक कर लिया कोई खाली जगह पड़ी हो तो आके चेक कर लिया यहाँ पे मैंने देखा है लोग नीचे पेशाब भी किया पखाना भी पीपल आर जस्ट टेकिंग शेर एवरीवेयर दे वॉन्ट फूफ लुक दिस दिस इज All human feces. This is not like animal. All human feces. <coughs> oh, that was nasty. Yo, do bala ho, war kam do katam ta. Ye tak ta ho. Aa ya fir khair us. Look at that shot. I wasn't that good, but I give it a try. On the third ball, I got out. <laughs> so, okay. We're gonna head home now, probably. What are you gonna do, guy? You're too much for me. Laga lete. Who? Akela chalane dega? I'm gonna try and get on a horse and see if they're gonna let me ride it alone. Do the last ball, Russian. I have one catch up. खैर मोटू जंदा को 
अगर यह दौरा प्रशांत का गया दौरे लाज बते तो हमको सिखाना है मुझे याद दौरा खुद जो को मैं याद दौरूं तुम पूरा कहे याद दौर मेरा नहीं अच्छी जो कर सही सदा शोर पशु ची बोलो बेदार तेल कीमत का नॉलेज और कीमत नहीं करूं बकरों जो कीमत है इन बर कसाम नहीं कुम कसाम आप में स्टार्ट फिल्म आ रहा है मिस्टर शाहरुख खान आ रहा है That was my horse riding experience in Afghanistan. Good horse. A chug or I. on ground is that no matter even if you get a visa for Afghanistan and you come to Afghanistan that does not mean that you can roam around on ground sand freely um, the Taliban in Afghanistan have no rules no law they don't know what they're doing they're not told what to do um, they just roam around the streets willy-nilly um, they will harass whoever they want. That's my experience in Afghanistan so far. It's been four days um, and multiple times uh, people have come to the house. Different places that I'm moving around. I'm, so the reason why I keep moving around from one location to the next and the next and the next is because so they don't um, they don't find out where I am. They don't find out what I'm doing. So I keep moving around so they can't catch me. Um, <clears throat> yesterday as well, uh, not Taliban members, but actual Daesh members came here. They were kidnappers. They came wanted to find out who I was and everything and possibly take me from here for some ransom money, which was actually, uh, uh, we found out today that that was the case. I went to the Taliban headquarters and I spoke with the leader of uh, the Taliban a spokesperson and I had to write this letter pretty much and he signed <clears throat> this is this is literally what the letter is if you want to stop this video so you can read it that is completely on you but this is what the letter is that I wrote and he signed it at the bottom and everything and then I was supposed to go to another office another location and get a permit to go to different uh, provinces different areas in Afghanistan and actually um, you know explore the culture pretty much and then and, and show you guys how it is uh, what ended up happening was the guy who was supposed to give me that paper wasn't there uh, we waited around two hours they they were nice in the office ish uh, till they came back and the guy just like typed up on a computer like a word document on Excel He just typed up my name and he wrote uh, Payment hundred US dollars and he was like you have to pay hundred dollars So that's when I spoke with the guy and I was like, why do you want me to pay hundred dollars for what? And he's like so you can go to different provinces and and roam around freely That's when I had an issue with this because I, I told him that I paid $160 for the visa to come into this country and I should be allowed to walk around freely. I'm not breaking any laws. I'm not doing anything that I'm not supposed to be doing. I'm doing my best to abide by 
the Taliban law that they have over here. But now I told them that they were telling me, I, I told the guy that you're telling me that I need to pay you more money so I can roam around even free. So I told the guy that the only option I have left right now is I'm gonna go back to Pakistan today. And I'm not gonna be in Afghanistan anymore. And once I go to Pakistan, it was kind of like a, like a threat to the Taliban member that I told him that as soon as I go back to Pakistan, I'm gonna go to the media, I'm gonna go to all my friends that are other YouTubers and everybody, and I'm gonna tell them not to come to Afghanistan because this is what you guys are doing with us over here. I'm still doing that anyways, because that is a reality. That's when he got scared and he was like, no, 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 no. Don't do that, don't do that, it's okay. We're just gonna cancel the $100 for you. But I still wasted so much time, so much energy, and I still didn't get that pass because the guy just never showed up. So apparently, I'm still in Kabul. The guy told me to come again tomorrow morning at 8.30 and to get the paperwork and documents and I don't have to pay uh, the $100 fee anymore. Uh, to be honest, the, the local civilian people, they are very nice, I'm not gonna lie. They are super nice, very humble. Um, they invite you to the house, they give you food, even if they don't have food to feed themselves, they will still do whatever they can um, and give you food to eat as, a, as their guest. But on the other hand, the Taliban member, the people that have the authority over here are just not good. They're not good, no one likes them over here. I've spoken to so many people, including the people that work in the government, including the people that are the spokesperson, the, the, the people that are working, uh, who is supposed to give me the actual documents. I'm asking those people, you know, do you like the previous government better or do you like this government better? And they wouldn't answer yes or no, but they would just smile and they would just shake their head. And that says a lot. Um, if, if I could record their faces, what the expression was, the answer was very obvious, that they're not happy with the Taliban over here, how they're running this country. It's just a sad reality. And if you are watching this video, I would not suggest to you to come to Afghanistan, at least right now, at least under the Taliban control right now, I wouldn't. Um, I gave it a year. I gave the Taliban one whole year to figure out their bureaucracy over here. <clears throat> and I came in, tried to experience everything, and it's it's not fun, man. I'm exhausted, 100% exhausted. So now <clears throat> I'm calling it a night. I'm gonna go to sleep, rest a little bit. It's hot, it's sweaty. I'm using a little local fan to, you know, just give myself some air. We're gonna eat some food tonight. Uh, I'll show you guys what the food is uh, in a little bit. It is still pretty bright outside. Um, so the food is gonna come in, in a couple of hours. So I'll show you guys what the food is before I actually call it a night and go to bed. And then tomorrow, uh, we're gonna start our day five. So. Thank you very much for watching today's video and it's sticking along with my long struggling journey of trying to explore Afghanistan and learn about its culture from a civilian's perspective. All right guys, so the dinner has been served. Um, the lady of the house made spaghetti. Yeah, Afghani style good. spaghetti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Afghani Afghani style spaghetti. It has macaroni. like some macaroni. See macaroni and this is spaghetti. This oh, is this spaghetti. is spaghetti. Okay, so there's a spaghetti in there. This is macaroni, some salad, uh, some yogurt, obviously, and then we have our host, like always. So I'm gonna dig in, get some food. As I promised you guys, I will show you what I'm having for dinner. So this was dinner, and then after dinner, I'm gonna call it a night. Because tomorrow morning I gotta go back and deal with the bloody Taliban and get another piece of paper. So, you get cheese. She just brought something. Sabzi. Sabzi. What is this? Yeah. 
I don't know what this is. Yeah. Uh, the spinach. No. Ah, uh -huh, spinach. Yeah. Yeah, this is spinach. I spinach. Ah, spinach. This is spinach. Spinach. Ah, palak. Palak. Ah, not palak. This is not palak. No, yeah. Man, it tasted like spinach to me. No, it's not. This is shaftal. You call it in Pashto shaftal. In Daru also shaftal. Shaftal. Yeah. Because I'm gonna have to Google what this is, and then you're gonna know what it's called in English right down below. All right. So till tomorrow is gonna be day number five, and I'll show you guys what happens in day number five in Afghanistan with me.